the Nintendo Switch is every gamer's dream console but not everyone can afford one. If I tell you there is a way to play The Legends of Zelda, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, even Pokemon right on your Android phone, enter Citroen the revolutionary Nintendo Switch emulator that's taking mobile phone gaming to a whole new level. If you already own Nintendo Switch games, Citroen lets you enjoy them on your your Android device, Citron is the only project consistently receiving updates and improvements ensuring better compatibility and performance with every release. Get ready because in today's video we are unlocking the full power of Citron to bring you console quality gameplay straight to your pocket. Let's quickly introduce Citron. Citron is an open source Nintendo Switch emulator designed specifically Android 11 or above. Citron is built from the user source code which was widely known as the best Nintendo Switch emulator. What makes Citron special? It's the first performance based Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. With it, you can easily play most of the Nintendo Switch games right on your Android phone. Now let's start by downloading the Citron application, open your Chrome browser and search for the official website of Citron emulator. Once you have downloaded the APK file for the emulator, go ahead and install the application. After installing the application, launch the app. The first time when you open the app, it will display a disclaimer with Nintendo's recent legal steps. Everyone is careful. Interesting fact, like other folk of Yuzu, Citron doesn't ask for keys or game direction upfront. Let's configure settings. Click on the gear icon, which is bottom right corner then select advanced settings then open general tab I recommend that turning off the limit speed option so the emulator can make use of your device full resources if you enable dark mode it will increase the resolution but may reduce performance so leave it disabled in the graphics section set the CPU accuracy on normal, you can increase the resolution up to 4x but I suggest using your device native display for smooth gameplay. High resolution demand more power so adjust according to your device. You will also have other options like DRAM, orientation, expert ratio and shaders but I suggest you leaving those options as default because these settings vary device to device, game to game, play around with them to find out what works best for you. Next, head back to the main settings menu. Here you will find an option to install custom GPU drivers by default at select device GPU. You can install custom GPU for your best performance. Please note that only Snapdragon processors are currently supported for custom GPU driver installation. If you are not using a Snapdragon device, unfortunately you can able to install GPU drivers. Now let's add games directory, go to the settings option then click on before you try any games, it's important to know whether it's playable on this emulator. Yuzu has a compatibility list on their GitHub page. From there, you can check if your favorite games is supported. Wait a minute, it is not showing any games in the game library. Let's restart the emulator and see. Now it's saying encryption keys are missing. So that means Citron requires keys. I found an option, you just have to go to the settings menu, then open Citron folder and there you will find a keys folder, you just have to drop the keys file here. Alright, you can see all the Nintendo Switch games in the game library which I own legally. Finally, let's drive into some gameplay with Citron emulator. The experience is not similar like other users for. Honestly, I found best FPS and graphics quality with the accurate control. I think once you start playing with Citron, you might not go back to using your Nintendo Switch if you even have one. For additional information, feel free to join our Discord server. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for future updates. See you in the next video. Take care.